In this video, I'm going to help you learn affiliate marketing as a beginner. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Alston and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks and how to find success and make money online. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to help you learn affiliate marketing as a beginner uh, in this video. Now this video will probably be a little bit longer than some of my more recent videos. If you want to get a jump start and learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free email marketing guide. Uh, but if you are willing to stay along for the ride, let's get started. Affiliate marketing is the process of helping solve a problem by creating content. You, the affiliate marketer, will create content based on the customer's problem or need. You will then direct them to click your link, called an affiliate link. If they click the link and buy the product, you will earn a commission. So if you think about it, there are three main components to affiliate marketing. There's a customer, there's a content creator, and then there's a person that has the product or service. The customer has a problem. Maybe they wanna lose 10 pounds in their right foot. You are the content creator. You create uh, different pieces of content solving that problem and the content or the 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 business owner has a magical pill to help them lose 10 pounds in their feet you create content to attract the customer to help solve their problem and um, add value to their life you then refer them to a product or service that will help them solve their problem maybe faster or more efficiently and then uh, they click your affiliate link they go to the the owner of the the business they buy the product everybody wins. Let's break that down a little bit because there are multiple parts, uh, there are multiple steps involved. So we're gonna try and break this down piece by piece to help you truly understand affiliate marketing. Now, one thing that I want you to learn and realize is a thing called an affiliate link. An affiliate link is a special link that is completely unique to you. You will get that link from the business owner. For example, you will use Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is the largest affiliate program out there because it's attached to amazon.com, which is the largest uh, e-retailer in the world. So. Once you sign up with Amazon Associates, Amazon will give you unique affiliate links for their products and services. You will then take those affiliate links and you'll place them in your content and you will direct the customer to click those links. Now within the affiliate links, there are things called cookie windows. Uh, basically what a cookie window is the length of time your affiliate link is active after a customer clicks on it. For example, Amazon has a 24 hour affiliate window. So a customer has 24 hours after they click your link to buy the product or service for you to get paid a commission. If they, if they buy the product or service in hour 25, you don't get a commission. Now, every business is different, so the cookie window will be different. Some, some businesses have a, a, a lifetime affiliate window, others have 24 hours, some may even have as few as 12 hours. Uh, so affiliate windows are, are unique and they will vary based on the business. One dirty little secret before we continue on with affiliate marketing is that there are tons of websites out there that are doing this every single day. If a website sends you to a third party to buy a product or service, most likely it's an affiliate link. For example, if let's say there's a website that has a blog about computers and they say click this link to learn more about the new Windows computer and it takes you to Amazon, usually that's an affiliate link. The cost of the product or service does not increase or decrease if it's an affiliate link. It's just a way for the content creator to make a little bit of money. It's a way of the business owner to advertise without having to spend tons of money hiring a marketing agency or a firm. Uh, so if we continue on, in general, there are two types of traffic. There's free traffic and there's paid traffic. Free traffic is based on organic search. So regardless of the uh, platform that you use, um, there is a search engine and people will find your content by typing in a question or comment in the search bar. That is the most evergreen way to create content. It's also the cheapest over the long term. Paid traffic is where you work with a company like uh, Google AdSense, you do a little bit of keyword research to find out what the customer is searching for and you kind of skip the line. You get placed at maybe the top or your ad shows up on, on, on YouTube. That is a way to skip the line, but it can get expensive. If you are just starting off with affiliate marketing, I recommend trying 
free traffic first. And once you start making a little bit of money, then reinvest it into paid traffic. So in general, as I mentioned, there are two types of traffic. In my opinion, there are nine steps to affiliate marketing. And these steps apply to both free and paid traffic. And, and the, this is critical that you learn and understand each various step. Um, I have tons of other videos that address each step, but getting all of these steps wrong or, or missing one of these steps will result to you getting frustrated and wanting to quit. Uh, you don't have to be perfect in each one of these steps, but it's critical that you understand and do them right. So the absolute first thing that you want to do is pick a niche. A niche is a subject area that you're going to create content. The largest and most popular and competitive niches out there are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. For example, health, how to make more money online. Um, how to invest in real estate. That's all examples of, that's examples of wealth. Health is I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to gain muscle. Um, relationships can be how self-improvement. It can be relationships with your parent. It can be relations, relationships with your significant other. And technology is everything that is technology based. Uh, video games, computers, cameras, anything and everything. These are the, the four largest and most popular niches. They're also the most competitive. So you'll have to do a lot of re keyword research and you'll have to do something called niching down. Now, niching down is finding a subsection of your main topic. Uh, before I continue on, I do want to let you know that any niche can work. If you wanted to do a niche in garden gnomes, you could find success there. If you want to do a niche in doorknobs, you could find success there. I'm just going to use health, wealth, and relationships because that is the, um, those are the areas that people understand the most. So again, you, you want to niche down. If you are just getting started, it is going to be very difficult for you to compete with how to make more money online or it's going to be very difficult for you to compete with the newest video game out there or the newest um, computer. So we'll, for example, let's say, let's say this camera, it will be very difficult for you to compete with the Canon uh, Rebel T6 camera. What you'll need to do is you'll possibly need to niche down and keyword research will help you with that, which I'll address in just a moment. But again, a niche is a high level topic. For this example, we're going to lose, we, we want to lose weight. We're going to create content about losing weight. We want to niche down to how to lose 10 pounds fast. Because health, wealth, relationships, and technology are the most competitive, you are probably going to need to niche down three, four, or even five levels before you start to see sustained success. So that is step number one, pick a niche. Step number two is pick a primary and secondary platform. Now the primary platform is where you're going to create all of your content. The largest or, or the most popular platforms that are out there right now are YouTube videos, blog posts, self-hosted blog posts, and podcasts. Now there are a number of different ways that you can find success with these primary platforms. Um, and, and getting into that, it would, would make this video 10 times longer, but those are the primary platforms. And then I have secondary platforms. Secondary platforms are anything or any type of platform that you will use to drive traffic back to your primary platform. For example, you may use Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest to drive traffic back to your YouTube video. Because if you're just starting out, you won't have the organic traffic. You won't have that brand, that name recognition. So you'll need to do some different things in order to generate and drive traffic. That's why you'll use secondary platforms. In addition, I call them secondary platforms because you don't own those platforms. At any moment, those platforms can be taken from you and you won't have any recourse. You won't be able to get your content. You won't be able to retrieve any blog posts that you made. You have a little bit more control when it comes to uh, YouTube blog posts and podcasts, but when it comes to secondary, you basically have zero, little to no control. So that is step two, pick a platform. Step three is keyword research. Now keyword research is the science, the art of figuring out what your customers want to know. The reason why I recommend doing keyword research in step three as opposed to step two is because your keyword research will be heavily dependent on your platform. Uh, you will find different search results. You'll have to find out, you'll have to niche down uh, different levels depending on if you're using a blog, if you're creating blog content, YouTube content, or podcasts. And so keyword research is critical. It's key to your success. You want to make sure that you spend a fair amount of time 
figuring out exactly the type of content that you need to create and the type of content that you can compete for because it's very easy and I've made this mistake if you watch some of my other videos um, I made the mistake of not niching down far enough and not and not accurately understanding the competition if you don't understand the competition and you don't niche down far enough you will have a very difficult time competing and finding success so keyword research is probably the most important aspect of uh, affiliate marketing because if you don't do it right your success will be prolonged you could be frustrated and you can give up now I have a number of videos on how to find keywords and how to do keyword research correctly uh, so take a look at those and, and th those will certainly help you out step four is create content and this is what's going to separate your success from from failure you need to go in with the mindset that you are going to create content to solve a problem. You want to add value to someone's life. You don't want to go in with the mindset of you, you're doing this to make money because your consumers, your customers will be able to see right through it. If you want to go, you want to go in and be as helpful as possible regardless of the platform. If you are creating YouTube videos, if you are on social media and you're trying to drive traffic back to your primary sources, your primary platforms, you need to go in with a mindset that you are going to be helpful. You are going to be more helpful than anyone else that has ever offered any information. And the reason why you want to do that is because as humans, if you give something, if you give a lot of something, the person on the other end, the consumer, will feel compelled to give something back. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a lot of content, be very helpful, and then tell them to click the link in the description to learn more. Or you're going to create some sort of call to action to get them to do something else. And because you have created so much helpful content, you have generated so much interest, desire, motivation, you have added value to someone's life, they are more than likely going to click the link in the description in order to see what else you have for them. Because you've helped them out so much, they want to learn more about you. They want to know more about whatever it is that you're offering them. So it's very important when you create content that you go in with the mindset that you are going to help them first and money will come later. The next step, and I believe one, two, three, and I believe this is step, step number five, is to learn and apply email marketing. Email marketing is critical to your success as an affiliate marketer. One of the mistakes that new affiliate marketers or, or beginning affiliate marketers do is they just put the affiliate link in the description. They put the affiliate link in the um, in their blog post. When what you should do is you should put a landing page. You should put a link to your landing page and your landing page is how you're going to collect email addresses and that's how you'll start your email marketing campaign. Now the reason why this is so pivotal is because you can retarget customers for multiple products. For example, if if you are in the um, how to lose weight niche, you can target them for a yoga mat and then you can target them for the yoga ball or you know a set of weights you can keep retargeting retargeting them for different products and because they have already built a relationship with you they already know like and trust you they're going to trust what you have to say they're going to be interested in what you have to say and so the, the another reason why you want to uh, start email marketing is because email marketing converts at a much higher rate than affiliate marketing assume affiliate marketing converts at three percent email marketing will com convert it between 6 and 10%. While that may not seem like a lot, you're looking at thousands of dollars, possibly even tens of thousands of dollars as you get better at affiliate marketing, as you start to scale your business. So you wanna make sure that you take the step and invest in email marketing right away. Don't skip this step because it will have a direct impact on the amount of money that you make. Uh, I can speak from firsthand experience. I skipped email marketing for six months and those are six that was six months where i did not make as much money as i could have because i did not take advantage of email marketing the next step is find affiliate programs now what you want to do is you want to find affiliate programs that will be relevant to the your niche and to the content that you've created now most people will use amazon associates because it's the largest affiliate program in the world 
I don't necessarily recommend Amazon Associates unless there's no other option. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of of affiliate programs that are out there, and a number of them pay much more, and a number of them have a longer cookie window. So do a little bit of research. If you just Google your niche affiliate program or your niche affiliate products, you will be able to find a ton of different options for you. For example, you could just Google right now basketball affiliate programs and you'll see there are pages of information that you can take advantage of. So you want to make sure that you find the best one for you, one that pays a a good commission, one that has a, a longer cookie window, and you'll be able to find a little bit more success online. The next step is you want to add your links to your content. So now that you've created your content, you've found your affiliate programs, at this point you will have signed up for your affiliate programs. You're going to find the the you're going to find your affiliate links and you're actually going to add them to your email marketing campaigns and then you're going to add your landing page to your content. So that sounds like a lot, but really it's just a few clicks and the reason why you want to do it this way is again, you want to collect email uh, email addresses so that you can start email marketing campaigns. You'll learn all about email marketing when you go through the email marketing step and I have a few different videos on that as well. So it's very important that you do it in this process so that you start your start doing everything the right way. You start your your business on the right foot. If we continue on, you want to next you want to track your success with analytics. Now there are a number of things you want to learn within analytics and analytics is important because it will tell you how successful you are. You will learn your conversion rates, you'll learn the click-through rates, you'll learn your cost per click. You should spend a lot of time analyzing your results so that you can improve on your weaknesses. Uh, the numbers, believe it or not, the numbers don't lie when it comes to affiliate marketing. When people aren't clicking on your links, you have a low click-through rate, that means you're possibly not generating enough value. You're not developing enough interest. You're not adding enough value. Um, If you just go through and you slowly analyze every piece of your business, you will be able to find success much faster than someone that just does nothing. The next step is to repeat steps three through eight until you have found the level of success that you're looking for. Basically, you're just going to go back through and you're going to do more keyword research. You're going to create more content. You're going to get better at email marketing. You're going to find better or different affiliate programs and then add links and then track your success. Just keep doing that over and over again until you find the level of success that you're looking for. Now, one of the, the last parts of affiliate marketing is receiving payment. When it comes to payment, you aren't necessarily paid right away. Most affiliate programs will make you wait at least 30 days after the sale or the shipping of the product to receive a payment. Now, this is going to vary based on the company. Some companies will do 30 days, some will do 45, some will do 60. The reason why it takes 30, 60, 90 days is because they want to make sure there's no no fraud. They want to make sure there's no returns. They just want to make sure that everything has gone through as it was supposed to. Um, Without this, people would be defrauding companies left and right. Have your cousin buy a product and then return it. You get the commission, he gets the money. So it's, it's pretty normal for it to be at least 30 days before you start to see payment. So in my opinion, the three most important parts of affiliate marketing is the call to action, email marketing, and analytics. Now I have alluded to this a little bit earlier. You want to create a call to action that compels someone to click the link and to learn more. So you may want to say something like learn more or click the link to learn more about how to make more money online or how to lose weight. Um, If you click this link, you'll get a free gift. Uh, Click the link in the description in order to win $100 or enter to win $100. Something along those lines, as long as it's ethical, as long as it's legal, um, can really help grow your business. Next, as I mentioned, email marketing, because of the three three reasons I mentioned before, it'll help scale your business. It takes between five and 12 touch points before a, a consumer becomes a buyer, and you can retarget them for other products and services that you're recommending. And then, as I mentioned with analytics, it, analytics will really tell the story about your success. For example, with YouTube videos, you want to check out your watch time, your click-through rate, um, how, how the, the view duration. So just to sum it up, affiliate marketing involves three components, customer, content creator, and business owner. The customer has a problem that they need resolved. The content creator creates content to help solve that problem. And the business owner has a product that they want sold. 
The content creator links customers to business owner and everyone wins in this equation because the business owner sells another product than much cheaper than having to hire a professional marketing marketing firm than much cheaper than having to run a TV ad or to having to run um, ads on the internet. The content creator gets paid a commission for resolving a problem and creating content by adding value to someone's life. And the customer has the issue resolved. They have their needs met. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to learn email marketing. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a huge proponent of email marketing for the reasons I mentioned earlier. So click the first link in the description to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.